Yeah. yeah they're like the size of a whole wall, pretty much. No, they, they, look, they look big. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. You, uh, okay. And so what would be like to you, what would be like making it? Like, what would you, what do you see yourself that you're like, okay, now I made it like, you know, cause right now I would say, I would say you're still grinding it out, right? You're trying to figure it out. You're, you're, you're on a path. What, what to you would be like, okay, man, I think I made it now. Like as an artist, where do you want to be? What's the level? Yeah, um, I just want to be comfortable. You know, I don't, I don't want like, uh, I don't want to be big and famous like that. You know, I just okay. want to be comfortable. I want to be able to have multiple connections. Uh, that's important to me more than like, you know, large amounts of money, you know. Okay. I want to have connections and um, I want to be able to help my fellow artist friends out. Because um, to me, that, that that's what it's all about, you know. And um, people need to be more open with each other and work together, you know, better. I feel like every everyone wants to be better than each other. Right. I mean, I do for sure. You know, I want to be better than you know some of my friends that are really well artists. You know, but uh, you know we're all moving at our own pace. But um, yeah, I, uh, I mean, competition is is healthy. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I heard this from a good friend of mine. He was on the podcast. He's like, you need competition, but you also need like that community. You know what I mean? You also need to know like I'm not really competing with you, man. Like. Yeah. we are but we're not you know what i mean like we're still together on this we're like one you know what i mean community of artists you know what i mean so yeah, i think that's right. what, probably what you're getting at mm -hmm. yeah so i definitely say like success to me is you know just being comfortable having those connections and being able to work consistently right and, um, get an income from that i mean because i mean you, you you're, you're talented man so do you consider yourself like self-taught or did anyone i mean i know you said your cousin was a big influence but I mean, uh, I don't know, man. I would say, yeah, I would say I'm self-taught. I mean, I, I did go to um, school for that um, semester, for a few semesters. Right. And I did learn a lot. But, I mean, I've always had it, you know. So I picked it up, right. uh, trial and error. And, um, yeah, I'm here now, you know. Because I, I try to do everything, man. Like paint, airbrush, uh, oh, I wear spray cans, pencils, uh, charcoal rugs, uh, sculpting. I try to do everything, you know. I I really think I'm just really artistic, you know. Yeah, creative, artistic. Yeah, yeah. you got all that. You got I, feel that. Like I, I feel like I can do anything, you know, artistically. But um, I definitely want to stick to this niche I have of charcoal. Yeah, because that's not very. I mean, I haven't I haven't seen other people really. I mean, it's not that like popular from what I see just bouncing through. Yeah, it's, I, it's I, definitely I, a, a old technique, you know, that you know, people use, but. Is it kind of similar to like when you're using pastels or is it a little bit different? Uh, yeah, I actually do use uh, pastels, but um, also for like the bright whites and highlights. Okay. And really pop. But um, yeah, it, it's pretty similar. Uh, what about art supplies, man? I mean, they're pretty costly, man. How do you, you know, you got to pay for all that time. I mean, like, do you have someone you go to, you got hookups or you just <laughs> dropping all your money on that? Um, yeah. That's expensive, man. <laughs> all right, I'm like, yeah, honestly too that's why i try to stick to one thing which is charcoal oh, okay before i was trying to do oil paints and i love oil paints you know but i'm just not good at it i i suck um and paints are so expensive so i was like i can't keep up with this and mm. i'm not even, i feel like i'm not that good you know right. but um yeah charcoal man they're they're not too expensive but um you know they it gets up there and um also that's why i like um the canvas cloth you know because actual um canvas frames and all that that tend to be really expensive too when i could just buy uh yards of canvas cloth and hang it up like that so i try to just be as cheap as possible with that yeah yeah, yeah. i mean you, yeah you're trying i mean at the end of the day you're trying to sell art you know what i mean you're not i mean you're you obviously you know you're trying to perfect your craft but yeah you're not, and, like, the charcoal goes a long way you know Right, you're not trying to just keep buying all these supplies. Yeah, you see some dope stuff out there. Like I always like stop at the university art or whatever these art stores that we have. I just go in there. I'm not gonna buy anything because I have nothing to buy. I go in there. I'm like, oh, this is dope, but that's so pricey. Holy, you know what I mean? For a can of spray, woo. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I, I can see how that's expensive. How's the vibe in SAC, man? Like when you were doing art, like how does that compare though to Oakland? You know, or the Bay Area? How does that compare? Like as far as how you were doing it out here? Yeah. Uh... I mean, I felt a, a lot of support in SAC. Like, I felt like I could have a show and, like, 
hella people would come, you know? So I definitely have, like, I feel lots of love when I go out there. Um, out here, um, I was, you know, I was just kind of working a lot uh, at first. But now that I've been, like, you know, busting out all these pieces, um, I've been getting, like, a lot of support, like, on, on the internet, you know? So I have, like, I've grown to have, like, a, a lot of um, internet support. Yeah. Um, with my art. But um, I guess we'll find out, you know, when uh, the 21st comes around, because that's going to be my first show. So we'll see how much love I get. <laughs> yeah. How important is that social media, man, to an artist? How important is, like, the use of it, man, and using it right? I think it's pretty important. Uh, you know, that's how all these people view your, your pieces, right. you know? And um, I try to be, you know, really nice to everybody. And, you know, I try to take my time to reply to everybody that's, you know, telling me that they like my work. And, you know, I'll take my time just to be like, oh, thanks, you know, write a genuine, like, response to everybody, you know, because um, uh, I don't know. I just want to be that kind of person, you know, I, I'm, I'm nice. Yeah, approachable, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I know, I might, like, look all scary and stuff, but... People always say, oh, man, they want to talk to you, look at all these tattoos. And stuff. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, nah, man, I'm, I'm hecka nice, you know. Where would you get all like that? I mean, that influence, is that from, like, your family or, like, just growing up? You got into, like, you know what, I'm just going to get tatted. Do they have a story? Are you doing it or what? Do you have influence in that? Uh, no, nah, man, I mean, a, a lot of my tattoos, they're just random. You know, I was just feeling, like, some type of way one day. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go get tatted, you know. But, um uh, my family's all like that too, you know. They're all like, I don't know, like big guys, you know. So they're all tatted up and stuff like that. Right. But um, and this is it's art, you know. I I love. Hey, I love it is art. Know. You know what I mean? It is art. Yeah. Yeah, and I got a I got a couple of buddies that are they're actually art teachers, and they're all sleeve, you know, sleeved up. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's like, it's just an expression, man. You taking the art with you, and and it's it's changed, right? Like the use of it, and like the the people, like the the perception of like people seeing like tattoos, like oh. You know, gangster. It's like, nah, nah, calm down. You know what I mean? Until like big celebrities that weren't gangster, they started getting them. People were like, look, you know, you can get a butterfly or whatever it may be. And then all of a sudden it changed, right? It's not, it doesn't have that look anymore. I mean, people yeah. are more accepting to this for sure. I think. Yeah, definitely. And, and if you, but you're in your space. I mean, you're being who you are. You know what I mean? You're, you're not like, you know, wearing a suit and trying to work at this place nine to five. You know what I mean? And follow these, these like, norms that they have you're an artist you are the art as well you know you're trying to express yourself you know through whatever it is the photos you take whatever you post you know what i mean that's why i mean that's how i could hook up with you you know social media right you know because like you know i saw it and then i told my sister my like, ellie you know so this guy don't you know him she's like yeah i'll tell him i'm like all right tell him for me you know what i mean so yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah ellie's really cool man she's she's my homegirl for sure she's uh, she's amazing yeah she's a teacher now man she's at the yeah, so, man so. uh, she'd be she'd be telling me i'm like yeah you're doing it up She's always been a smarty though, man. Well, you know, her mom, her mom and dad were teachers, so they they had they made her read read books. Yeah. And stuff. Be, all, <laughs> be all into that, man. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm just scrolling through your uh where'd you get that that wolf, you know, that that name and all that like the wolf was it? Wolf uh, how do you say that? Yeah, uh, wolf funky. Okay. Wolf funky. Uh -huh. Where'd you where that come from? Because that, that's what you had before. That's the hoodie, I think, that I saw before, or the shirt. Yeah. I'm not sure it was the wolf. Mm -hmm. Where did that come from, man, or that idea? Uh I don't know, man. Just like just being really young, I've always had this fascination with like wolves for some reason, you know. And um, yeah, that that's always stayed with me, you know, like a wolf. I've always tried to draw them. Uh, my family friend actually had a wolf that they rescued. Oh. Yeah. So um, yeah, that thing was hella big, man. So I, I just remember <laughs> loving it, you know. I was like, well, but um, yeah. And then growing up, uh, music. I, I love uh, funk music, you know, uh, Rick James, Tina Marie, oh, dang. You know, uh, yeah. Zapp and Roger, all that kind of stuff, you know, so okay. like, yeah, I love uh, funky music, you know, so I don't know, just one day I just put them together, Wolf Funky, you know, and, and that's me, you know, like Lone Wolf type thing, Yeah, a funky dude, you know, um, yeah, I don't know, I, just, I put them together one day and I was like, I like the sound of it, Wolf Funky. I like that. No, that's dope, I was wondering, like, why is it Wolf? You know what I mean? Like, what's up with this wolf? But I like that. I'm, I'm at the order of that patch, man. I keep forgetting to get it, but. Oh, yeah, man. I, I got a, I got a few of them left. I'm going to sell them at the show, too, so. That's cool, man. I see down the, you got your website going. I mean, that's, like, the whole thing. Like, right now, I've been, like, this whole COVID thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, we've probably been on our phones way more than, like, ever. But, yeah. like, 
I've been like just studying people's like what they post, you know what I mean? How they post it. And I'm talking about like the successful, successful social media people, you know, they have like all these stuff. Like, what the heck do they post? It's so, you know, uh, yeah. important, you know what I mean? So I look at it, I'm like, you got your brand, you got the, you know, you got your logo, you know, the pops, the, the P patches, you know what I mean? Like, I like that, a lot of that kind of cool stuff, man. How's that? How's that support, man? Like people just follow you around, right? From SAC, you probably have your family and friends always supporting you, right? Always buying your things and stuff, hopefully. Right? Yeah, I know, man, that shit better. 